Good morning, YouTubers. This is Bud coming to you from beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I just got back from Kauai and there are going to be two brand new uh, YouTube entries made from Kauai Wannabe Waimea Canyon. And if you haven't seen Waimea Canyon, I think the video that I took was just a little over one minute. This thing you gotta see, it's, it's like a miniature Grand Canyon and it is beautiful so that's going to be uploaded today and then uh, beaches 5 will be on and that's a beach from Kauai and when you see that well it's going to make you wish you were here and I wish you were here um, I would love to show you some of this beautiful country here just this last week getting to the morning discussion of cup on our with our cup of coffee I watched a special that was uh, put together by Cooper 360 and he presented a few facts that I wanted to bring to the internet and you can go to uh, YouTube and, and download all seven parts I think there were and you can see kind of the things that I, I witnessed but there were a few facts that really stuck out to me. They interviewed a person that was of course they always have the pro cannabis and the and the anti cannabis side of it on the discussion part but of course the group that was discussing from the anti cannabis group was somebody from a marijuana addiction clinic and I say marijuana addiction because the statistics prove something out to me that I want to bring to your attention 97% of those people that were in treatment for cannabis addiction were in the addiction program by court order. Now, did they really feel addicted? No. 3% of them were voluntary, voluntarily there for addiction, which makes you kind of wonder for sure what side of the fence these guys are going to be on because they're getting paid to be on the negative side of cannibal legal, cannabis legalization. When you look at the prisons, there's another system that's kind of failed us, which is a failure of the DEA. Now I know those guys are really trying, but when 700,000 people are arrested by local, state, and federal agencies for the possession, transportation, or or sale of marijuana, cannabis. It's got to make you wonder where the focus is. Um, it seems to me that violent crimes, uh, theft, rape, uh, murder, should have a priority over the prison systems, other than drug users, or especially for cannabis. Uh, you look at these statistics and it makes you wonder exactly what's going on. Um, is it because cannabis users have something that can be confiscated? Where usually murderers, rapists, and those type of people basically are have no possessions to, to possess for the government to take? I often question that. If people want to use cannabis I can't see anything in the Constitution that prohibits it or empowers the government to do anything about it. I also don't understand when you look at our Bill of Rights how our Bill of Rights doesn't protect us. Um, we say that we look at countries like China and we go, their civil rights, you know, their rights for their citizens, you know, we need to improve on them. But I look in our country and realize statistically we put more people in prison than any other country. How can we point the finger and say, you know, you're doing it wrong or you're doing it wrong when we need to improve on what we're doing here in our country? And sometimes our government does that. They focus out of our country on, on things when it's really bad here. You know, you look at the money that we're sending out of the country and you think, gee, that should be used on our infrastructure. But anyway, to get back to the story, 
I think you should check out Cooper 360 just so you can see more or less the prejudice against cannabis users. I, I can't see a problem with its use. I can't see why 700,000 people went to jail for it. And if someone can make sense to me on that one, I would certainly like to know. Um, there was a time in this country when I really felt free. I just don't seem to feel that way anymore. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've gotten older and my attitude has changed somewhat, but I just don't feel like I'm as free as I once was. And things like the Patriot Act doesn't, doesn't make me feel any better. Um, our country needs to really focus internally for a while. Uh, we can't be the police of the world. I think that's absolutely wrong. I think Obama should stop that. You know, let other countries do what they do as long as they don't interfere with us. And again, I think we need to look at changing some of our laws and keeping our citizens free and out of jail. So I want to thank you for a couple minutes of your time. Um, if you've enjoyed the beaches and, you know, we'll go on some hikes and have these friendly chats with a cup of coffee, uh, let me know and get me more, a little, few more subscribers in there. I, I want to feel like the message is getting out and that we're talking as friends. Um, I wish you were sitting across the table from me so I could hear your opinion. Uh, I appreciate the time that you spend with me and I appreciate the time for listening to the, these YouTubes that I'm putting out there. They take some effort. But anyway, this is Bud ending the cup of coffee saying aloha and peace and looking forward to seeing and hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.